to start up. Okay, here we are. Pull the plug. And wait for the green light to go out so it doesn't... I think it still needs to do something or other. I don't know. And uh, start this up. And now I'm going to go into Red Hat. And hopefully I can boot into Red Hat after Grub automatically configured my system. If I can't, then, then I'm... I still got Slackware, but I know Red Hat will, or Fedora, controls booting. They, they kept that. They're idiots. <laughs> Makes it look... St they, 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 they merge an existing Grub one file, kind of, with what you have already, but they add a bunch of... Every single kernel you've ever used <laughs> gets uh, put in there. Now, the only thing I'm worried about right now is um, this, this might happen. Uh, I might go in there and I might uncomment my, uh, I'm going to go in as a root. One reason why I picked Fedora, because I know I can get in there as a root right now. If, if, see, now, if something automatically changed, I don't like the idea of these automatic underlying changes under some assumptions 50 security alerts give me a break it's me live logged into this 50 times is root <laughs> that's all that is there's my 28 gigabyte file system now I keep getting distracted but what I was trying to say and I guess this fits the description I was making before about me going into Red Hat. What I was trying to say is if I, and this is drop dead ugly, uh, Xeter X11 and default display matter. If, if I go in here <coughs> and now I uncomment opt KDE3 bin KDM, I'm going to put that on the bottom because maybe it needs it to be up there. And it still doesn't work, which I think is a distinct possibility. I think I remember actually going into my system and doing this and it not being the solution. Um, then I'll be in trouble. But the point I'm making is, is that just due to the fact that I changed my window manager, some other process got started in the back room, the background that made a permanent unresolvable change between the two available window managers. See, I can't log in as, uh, using KDM now. And I, uh, but if I go back and I can't log in with GDM, then merely doing that is uh, just someone wanting to use uh, KD KDM and they have a little bit of knowledge about about Unix and they they use their intuition and they find the default manager of if they're as so bold as to do that um, then uh, what ends up happening is that their systems are revocably broken unless they have a backup of their etc x11 directory let's find out if that's true or let's find out if the solution that I was looking for this whole time was just to make the default login manager GDM now I know when KDE's Trinity is set up, and it is on my, uh, my right now, my flagship system that we've gone through there, it, it, it wants to use KDM. So now there's this broken integration, some other configuration somewhere in there, I, I don't know how it works, what it does, what the setting is, you know, that... Don't stop there, please. <laughs> Still thinking, but I, I, I'm just not confident right now. I'm just not. I, I, I can, you know, based on what happened earlier, I think it's just going to fail. I think this is probably a better presentation, though, how to, how to get, how to screw up your system and how to get it back. In this case, yeah, it's, it did the exact same thing. So that ch change that I made had no impact on my system. But I know that the changes that took place as a result of me picking KDM that automatically took place without my my requesting it. Unix is supposed to, to work 
that the user is in control of the system. And if the user changes a text file, changing it back will get him back to where he was. You know, none of this other stuff <laughs> is supposed to happen. Okay, so now I got a broken system. So now I'm going to go back. Again, I'm going to pull the plug. I guess this is a much more concise way of demonstrating what happened yesterday than what I had up there already. Push the power button. And again, I'm going to go back into Red Hat. And then, once I'm Red Hat, I'm going to copy. I'm going to delete my X11 directory. I don't think I got it on camera that well anyway. We're, I keep calling it Red Hat, too. It's Fedora now. And I'm like seven years behind on the times. <laughs> Fedora is made by the Red Hat company, but they're calling that distribution, which really is, is a beta. They sell a desktop edition of Linux that, in my opinion, is probably not going to work that all that better, all that much better. Um for a lot more than a Windows desk would, talk, would, would cost. There's no reason to do it. I mean, probably bundle in support that you probably don't want or need anyway. Login is root. And I'll show you this whole mounting process I was talking about. If my memory fails me, I don't remember if I just did that. Okay, this 28 gigabyte file system is my Ubuntu. Is the that is the and that is the um. I might have another problem. I just realized. No, I won't. Um, I'm after booting my other Ubuntu. Yeah, I might have a problem because um. I originally set up these 20 gigabyte file systems is fat and they're in there, there's a file system tab setting for uh, that partition there may be a file system setting for that partition being fat file system and so when I double click on it it won't mount let's see oh well for C, if I have a home James, yes I do. So that is my other Ubuntu, I believe. I believe. But to make sure I go into etc. Because these aren't descriptive. And again, the other thing I don't like about GNOME, they aren't descriptive. And I go, if I right click on it, it doesn't tell me what device it is. I just want to know is it dev, it's, is it dev SDH uh, 3 or 12? Or not. <laughs> so now I gotta go close around in here. And there's something called um, Debian. Yeah, that's the Debian version it's based on. That doesn't tell me anything. Something's called, I think it's called um, some about being um, <sighs> what's the name? I don't remember the name. I'll, I'll see it. I gotta look at all these files now, and you get to wait. Popularity contest. Guess not. Okay. What's up here? So, is it Ubuntu for version? <sighs> Where is this? Issue.net? Yeah, that's what it is. Okay, so it's Ubuntu 1004. Yes, this is the right partition. Okay, so this is the one that I want to grab my X11 from. And I'm differentiating the identity of this uh, partition from the other one by uh, the size of the, of the file system. If I didn't know that, I have to take other measures. So this is the one I, I know at least I want to copy. This one... I'm, I'm just going to make sure. Okay. This is the one I want to copy from. This is the one. What the fuck is this? What is it black for? It's little things like that. 
you know, okay, so that's my 20, uh, that's my, bonus. okay, so I'm going to um, delete this. Now, when I move this to the trash, <laughs> it shows up in my Ubuntu system in the trash over there. I don't understand how that happened, but it did. Um, that's why I was saying, what are you doing there, buddy? And now I'm going to take this, I'm going to copy this, and I'm going to paste it. I learned yesterday when I checked permissions and I wasn't clear about what I was doing, I just wanted to see that copying it over didn't do anything to it to cause it to... I just want to make sure it ends up having the same permissions that it had before. So I you know, mumbled myself root, create, you know, and they do. They, you know, the, the permissions here are the same as the permissions over there. They probably shouldn't change. I'm, I'm just being overcautious. Okay, so I've done that. I deleted my original X11 folder, replaced it with the Ubuntu, uh, the second installation that I had that I had to earn by doing two hours of work yesterday. And I will not be foolish this time. Next time I get into Ubuntu, uh, I will make a backup of that X11 directory. So I may be um, foolish enough again or forgetful and try to get KDM back in there because I don't like GDM. I don't like the fact that right now I don't have a choice as to what window to get into. It isn't familiar and it pops up down here. What session I want. Um, but right now my aim is not to log in, it's to restart, go back to Ubuntu, and show you, hopefully, <laughs> that it's working now. I'm going to say hopefully because I don't know if I have to intermittently turn CompUs off and on because I did that before. You know, this isn't the exact way I did it before. I do want to have a straightforward answer that's not real riddled with my guesswork half the time. Oh, man. This is where I was cussing a storm yesterday. So I, this is where it stopped, and I thought, well, this is just going to stop again. I mean, I, I told myself, well, I changed this whole X. There it is. It's back. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to work now. I told myself, well, I changed this whole... Um, yeah, good. <laughs> I was worried it was going to get stuck there. Uh, I changed this whole thing, and... Why is that still, why is that still there, you know? Okay, done.